Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. As scheduled, the chamber will continue its proceeding by hearing the testimony of a witness TCW253. And before we proceed with the hearing of the testimony, we would like to inform parties to the proceeding that for today's proceeding and the subsequent days, Judge Yotra will be absent due to his health reason. Le juge Otara sera absent pour raison de santé. Après les consultations avec tous les juges de la bench, nous décidons de nommer le juge du siège. Nous avons décidé de nommer le juge Trumoni, qui remplacera le juge Yotara, qui est actuellement absent. The decision is based on Rules 29.4 of the Internal Rules of the ECCC. Cette décision est prise conformément à la règle 29.4 du règlement intérieur du CETC. Mr. Dawansan, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Dawansan, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, all parties to the case are present. Aujourd'hui, l'ensemble des parties sont présentes auprès de toi. As for Nunchi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs, based on the decision of the trial chamber concerning his health. Conformément à la décision de la chambre, the witness TCW two five three already threw an oath this morning. A déjà prêté serment ce matin. And he confirms to his best knowledge and ability he has no connection or relation to any of the accused, that is, Nunchi and Kirsten Paul, nor any of the civil parties recognized in this case. The witness has a duty counsel, Mom Rattier, and they are ready to be called by the chamber. Et euh, les deux sont prêts à We être appelés devant cette chambre. Nous avons un témoin that is TCW548, but this witness hasn't taken an oath yet. Qui n'a pas encore prêté President, thank you, Mr. Ansan. Court Merci. officer, could you invite the witness TCW253 and his duty counsel into the courtroom?
President, good morning, Mr. Witness. Can you tell us your name? Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? Witness, Mr. President, le my témoin. name is Ian Monsieur le Pan. Président, je m'appelle Yang Pan. President, thank you. How old are you, Mr. Ian Pan? Quel est votre âge, Response, I am 60 years old. J'ai 60 ans. Thank you. Question. Président, Where is your merci. current residence? Où habitez-vous actuellement? Response. Réponse. I live at Bay Village on Longville Commune, Badambong Province. Longville, Thank you. Question. What is your Question. current occupation? Merci. Quel est votre métier actuel? Response. I'm a soldier. Réponse. Je suis soldat. Thank you. Question. Question. Merci. What is your father's name? Quel est le and nom de your votre wife's père, names, your mother's names, and how many children do you have? Et de votre mère, et combien Response. Réponse. My father is Ian Po, Mon and my mother Ian is Po. Ung Mut. They are both deceased. Mit, and my wife's name is Dong On, and we have Dung five Dung children. Thank you, Mr. Ian Pan, as reported Merci, by the graphier. To your best knowledge and ability, you have no relation by blood or by law to any of the civil parties recognized in this case 002, nor no to any of the two accused, that is, Nguyen Chi and Kiu Samphorn. Is this information correct? Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. Oui, exact. Thank you. Question. Also, Question. as reported by the greffier, you already drew an oath before you entered this courtroom this morning. Is this correct? Ce matin. Exact. Response. Yes, it is. Réponse. Oui, en effet. Thank you. Le Président. We would like to inform you of your right and responsibility as a witness Nous before this chamber. Mr. Ian Pan, as a witness before this chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or request for your comment that would incriminate you. This is your right against self-incrimination if you think your response might incriminate you. And I believe you understand this right, and for that reason, uh, you already have a duty counsel with you. Je pense que vous avez bien so, if you see any of the questions put to you, may lead to a response si that could incriminate you, you may seek consultation with your duty counsel before you decide either to respond or to refuse to respond to such a question. De de ou de de also, as a witness question. before this chamber, it is your obligation to respond to all the questions put to you by any other parties or the bench, except in the case that your response or comment may incriminate you, as I just stated earlier. And also, as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, have heard, have remembered, or experienced, or through your direct observation of any event concerning the questions put to you by any other parties or the bench. Mr. Ian Pan, had you been interviewed by any of the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges during the last few years? If so, how many times and where did it take place? Response. I was interviewed once by the Office of the 
J'ai été interrogé une fois, non, en fait, des, uh, deux Bourne, fois, directement. Town. The first interview was not in detail. Question, can you recall when was the first interview taken place? D'après vos souvenirs, à quel moment a eu lieu cette première audition? Response. The first interview Réponse. took place in 2009, and the second interview was in 2010. Thank you. Le président, merci. Question. Before you appear before this chamber, have you Avant de re read your chambre, interviews that vous was in did your interview un, with the office of the co-investigating judges in order to de votre audition avec le bureau recollect des your statement? Afin de vous rappeler uh, les Response. déclarations que yes, vous avez faites à l'époque. Yes, indeed, I reviewed the Réponse. interviews. Oui, en effet, j'ai relu ces entretiens. Thank you. And to your best Question. knowledge and recollection, Merci. can you confirm Après whether the written record of your interviews that you have read que le in verbal fact uh, are consistent uh, with your responses you gave to the investigator of the office of the co-investigating judges? du bureau des co-juges d'instruction à l'époque. Response. Yes, the Réponse. written records of the interviews oui, are consistent with my responses. correspondent bien aux réponses que j'ai données. Thank you. Mr. Ying Pan, you Le may put your document Merci. aside and listen to Monsieur the Yang questions Pan, put to you by the parties. And if uh, you are requested to refer to the document, si then you may do so. Otherwise, it is not necessary for you to Sinon, look at the document. Please try to respond to the questions based on your memory and recollection. And uh, you may be requested to refer to your written records of interviews from time to time. De temps à autre, on vous demandera de vous référer aux procès verbaux des auditions. And the prosecution, you are reminded that for the questioning of this witness, you will be given the floor first. Aura la parole en premier. And the time allocation for the prosecution and for the lead co-lawyers and for half a day, you may proceed. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, Your Honours, uh, may it please you. Good morning. Good morning to my fellow counsel and good morning in particular to you, Mr. Ian Pan. Mr. Ian Pan, I have a series of questions to ask you relating to military matters. You have been a soldier for over 40 years, and it's your experience and knowledge of these military matters that I anticipate will assist the tribunal. I will be referring to extracts from your previous OCIJ interview dated the 23rd of November 2009, E3-419. Mr. Ying Pan, can I start, please, just by setting your military history in some context. You stated in E3419, answer one, that you joined the army on the 28th of July 1970, when you were aged 18, and that in September 1970, 
you joined the military forces in District 105 in Takao. My first question is this. How soon after you joined the district forces. Were you engaged in any military action with Lonnol soldiers? Thank you for your question. Allow me to respond to this question. I indeed joined the army in 1970. And the reason for me joining the army uh, was the after the coup d'état by Lunol to topple uh, So the schools were closed at the time. And when some night CNO went to Beijing, he made an appeal to all Cambodian citizens to enter the Maki forest. And from that on, I joined the army. And when was your first military engagement with any Lon Nol troops? I engaged in Réponse. fighting against the Lonol soldiers after the coup d'état. And in fact, uh, I engaged in the battles on and off frequently Et since I was in the district militia and until I also joined the military forces. Mais assez Thank you. Uh, you said also in militaire. this same extract Question, merci. E3419 answer one, that in 1972 you became a platoon commander in Company 14 under Sien, and that was a special unit under the supervision of Sector 13. Can you help me please with any major military engagements that you remember in 1973 or 1974? Yes. I joined in uh, countless in countless battlefields oui. in uh, Takao province, in Kampota province, and also in Presiano uh, province, 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 in Kampongspu province, as well as in Phnom Penh. Now, in 1973 and 1974, was the liberated area occupied by the liberation forces getting bigger or smaller? The liberated area became larger as the lunar soldiers only remained along the main road and in the provincial towns. Now, during these many military engagements, did all villagers that you encountered support the liberation forces? In general, the Réponse. movement uh, between 1970 to 75 attracted huge support from the ordinary people. If any villagers were considered to have opposed question. the revolution, what happened to them? 
que leur arrivait-il At that time, there was none to oppose the li uh, liberation époque, forces. In fact, they actually joined the liberation forces. En fait, ils ont rallié ces forces de libération. Can you help us, please, on what happened to Lon Nol soldiers if they were captured? Quel était le sort réservé aux soldats de Lon Nol s'ils étaient capturés? After the arrest of the Lunol soldiers, we were at the front, we did not know what happened to them because they would be sent to the rear. Do you have any knowledge during this period of the civilian village populations of Ang Tassom and Kampong Trak ever being evacuated? Est-ce que ces populations ont été évacuées During that time, during the, the battle, in fact, the civilians would evacuate themselves in order to avoid the fighting. Les civils partaient d'eux-mêmes After you joined the military, were you ever aware of a relocation program where people were forcibly moved out of their villages by liberation forces. Provincial towns where the liberation forces uh, reach, the people themselves moved de to the rear. And I did not know whether they would return to their, their provincial towns si because at that time I was uh, at a lower rank of the chain of command. Époque, uh, Do you know what happened inférieur. to these villages? Question. Savez-vous que sont de devenus ces villageois? At that time, it was uh, unclear to me. Réponse. À l'époque, je ne le savais pas très bien. In this period from 1970 to 1975, how did Question military units communicate with one another? Comment les unités militaires communiquaient-elles entre elles? As for the liberation forces, uh, we communicated uh, by radios. Les forces de libération communiquaient par uh, radio. When were telegrams first used? Question. À quel moment a-t-on commencé à utiliser des télégrammes? When I joined the, the army, in fact, each Lorsque unit would have a telegram for the communication with the various other units des, or through uh, the headquarters. De Can I just be clear? Was this telegram procedure avec, in place uh, le chef directly after Question you joined the army in 1970? Or did it come a few years later? Vous êtes engagé en 1970. Ces moyens de communication par télégramme existaient-ils déjà? Ou euh, ont-ils été déployés plus tard? The telegrams were used since I joined the army. That's for the communication between the front command and the rear command. Communiquer entre le front et l'arrière. Mr. Ing Pan, I want you to help us next with some Question. military terms. Pourriez-vous maintenant nous aider? Uh, other witnesses have spoken about them, but perhaps not accurately. Now, in terms of the lower collections of soldiers, can I start with a platoon? Is it right that a number of 
soldiers would Une, make aux échelons inférieurs, prenons d'abord le peloton. Y avait-il un nombre défini de soldats qui composaient un peloton The platoon would uh, compose of 30 soldiers, which were from, we were made out of uh, three uh, squads. De trois so escadons. what you said there is we've actually introduced squad beneath platoon. How many platoons Question, in a company, donc please? Il y avait, uh, des escadrons qui composaient des pelotons. Combien de pelotons y avait-il dans une compagnie? Muy car. Three platoons would make a company. Réponse. Une compagnie était composée that de trois is, pelotons. It equals to nine squads. Ce qui est égal à How many escadrons. companies make up a battalion? Combien de compagnies? Question. Combien de compagnies composaient un bataillon? Four companies would make up a battalion. Il y avait quatre compagnies dans un bataillon. I'm going to give the structures above this, Question. and then I want you Passons to explain them, please, to the short. Regiment. Sur lequel je vais vous demander des explications. Brigade. On a le régiment, la division, brigade, la division. General staff. L'état-major. Now, was there regiments above the battalion level? Y avait-il des régiments au-dessus du niveau du bataillon Réponse. As I stated, Comme je l'ai indiqué, three companies would make a trois battalion compagnies formaient un bataillon and Four battalions quatre would bataillons make up a regiment. Un regiment. Now, if we look at the strata above this Question. now, à I should say à I was only in the army for four years Je and you've been in the army for 43 years. Dans que vous, But 43 ans. brigades and Mais divisions, les brigades can you explain that to the court, divisions. please? Qu'en est-il à ce sujet. Congress. Réponse. The difference between the regiment la différence and the entre division le régiment et la division four battalions would make réside up en ceci a, que a quatre bataillons forment un régiment. And then do we have so many regiments in a brigade or combien a-t-on de régiments dans, un brigade ou dans, dans une brigade ou dans une division For the regiment, four regiments would Quatre make up a brigade. constituer une brigade. And then, Question. is it a case of so many brigades making up a division, or have I got that wrong? Est-ce que le même nombre de brigades constitue une division, ou bien me suis-je trompé? For the military structure at the time, there were indeed uh, divisions. Il y avait effectivement des divisions. And each division was comprised of five brigades. Comprenait cinq brigades. One was an intervention uh, brigade and the other four would be the infantry. Et les quatre autres étaient des brigades All right, thank you. I hope that's going to help everyone's understanding now of Merci. other military terms that we use. Aidera Chacun now, you said in E3419 answer 1 that in 1, dans December 1974 you became chairman of Battalion 204. Du bataillon 204. 
which was part of Brigade 2 in the southwest zone. Dans la zone du sud -ouest. Where were you located in December 1974 when you became chairman Où étiez -vous of en décembre a battalion? Quand vous avez pris la tête battalion? In 1974, Réponse. I became the 74, commander of Battalion 203 battalion in the southwest zone under the subordinate of a Brigade Number 2. Sous le contrôle de la you've brigade used the phrase, um, you've used the phrase commander. Question. Vous I just want to look at some important positions within a battalion, the names given to the important positions. Now, is it right that every battalion would have a commander and a deputy commander? Or have I got that wrong? Avait un commandant et un commandant adjoint. Uh. The battalion that I control was called a Special Mon Battalion 203, and there was a commander and three deputy Il y avait commanders. Et trois Can you Question. help us as to whether there was a secretary and a deputy secretary y un or not? Et un No, at that time there Réponse. was no secretary. Non, à there il was avait pas a radio operator. Il y avait un operator radio. Now, at this time in December 1974, Question. is it right that your brigade commander was Sam votre commandant Bitt. de brigade était Sam Bitt, n'est-ce pas? No, it was not Réponse. the uh, regiment. In fact, some of it uh, was in charge regiment. of uh, Brigade Sam number Beat two in the southwest zone. Brigade numéro deux de la zone sud-ouest. I'd like to move on to the subject Question. of meetings to disseminate military Passons orders. Passons aux réunions visant à répercuter les instructions militaires. Now, in E three four one nine answer three. À la réponse 3 du même document, you said that Tamant, e the southwest zone commander, le commandant de la zone called the brigade and division commanders a les to de meetings de with him. Can you just give us some idea on how often avec lui. he would do this? À quelle fréquence le faisait-il? Thank you. As for the Réponse. words about uh, my knowledge, I would not uh, know much about that. I Je only had the right to participate in the meetings with the regiment. Le However, as for the brigades or the divisions, they will be entitled to have a meeting at the zone level. Des brigades et divisions, là, Let's il y avait talk about some meetings at, at your level Question. Parlons des as a commander of a battalion. Qui ont à votre niveau, en tant que in your de previous interview, still on answer three. À la you said that after toujours, the high-level meetings, vous dites les de haut niveau, the, the brigade and divisional commanders les de would then disseminate de information downwards plus to the regimental and battalion levels. Is that correct? De régiment et de bataillon. Est -ce exact? Pet, pet. 
réponse. Comme je l'ai indiqué dans le cadre de l'audition. How often would you go en to tant meetings que commandant de bataillon, to receive the information à quelle fréquence from vous rendiez-vous à des levels? réunions pour y recueillir des instructions émanant des échelons supérieurs Réponse. The meetings at that time were the meetings held in the battlefield, and there were two scenarios. One was based on the real situation. Une part, c'était selon la situation concrète et ça se faisait tous les mois. Par contre, en cas de besoin spécial sur le champ de bataille, moi qui étais commandant de bataillon, j'étais à la disposition du chef de régiment. Si ce dernier voulait me convoquer à une réunion, il pouvait le faire à n'importe quel moment et j'y allais. Question. Disons que vous allez à une réunion avec le commandant de bataillon. Il vous donne des ordres à vous, le commandant de bataillon. À votre tour, de quelle manière transmettiez-vous ces ordres aux soldats relevant de votre autorité Réponse. Practice. Once I received the commands from the regiment level, I the meetings Je amongst the companies under my control. And as I stated, et it could be a regular dit, monthly meeting or it could be réunion mensuelle ordinaire, based on the real need of the situation. Des besoins concrets Thank you. À la situation du I want to move next to Question. the military orders Passons aux instructions for the attack on Phnom Penh relative à l'offensive contre Phnom Penh. Said at E3 419 answer 3, à la réponse quote, 3 du document E3 bar 419, vous dites ceci, je vais I citer, j'ai assisté Sam à des Bitt réunions avec Sam Bitt when he said au cours desquelles il a dit que zone army toute l'armée de la zone sud-ouest allait uniquement attaquer l'aéroport de Po Chen Tong and then evacuate the civilian population pour ensuite évacuer the city la population civile de la ville with the goal of assessing l'objectif étant to see who were de déterminer qui étaient des soldats de Lon Nol Now, how many meetings did you attend to receive the orders for this attack? Avez-vous assisté réunions auxquelles vous avez reçu les instructions de procéder à cet assaut? When we received an order from the upper level, in particular for the attack on Phnom Penh, I only knew about the plan for my spearhead. Moi, je n'ai été informé que des plans relatifs for the, uh, à that is for my battalion. mon unité. And in fact, the spearheads that I was to attack was around this area. There is a contour area and then leading through the Pujantong airport. Moi, je and devais of course, attaquer près I le was not aware de of the instructions from for other directions of spearheads. Au courant des I only knew what was assigned to me. Now, how long before, before question. Question. The liberation of Phnom Penh, which was on the 17th of April 1975. Concernant la libération de Phnom Penh le 17 avril 75. How long before that, in days or weeks, did you Combien receive de jours de semaine your avant cette libération avez-vous reçu vos instructions en vue de cette offensive? In fact, we received the orders one Réponse. month uh, before it happened because uh, once we received the order, then we need to conduct événement. a proper Après sort of research. Reçu les ordres, il and fallait we 
needed the time in order to monitor the situation and then to make a report before the attack commenced. Where were you Question. when you received these orders one month beforehand? Vous avez in other words, what village were you near dit, or what part of the country were you based? Ou dans quelle région du pays étiez-vous stationné? In fact, I was in the special battalion je faisais unit. partie de l'unité de bataillon spécial. Nous procédions à des attaques fact, surprises et nous nous retirions tout de suite. Nous étions donc basés à l'arrière. Concernant l'assaut contre Comtoc et Pochentong, nous étions à environ 10 km à l'arrière. Nous then we made a sudden withdrawal des opérations and then the infantry surprise. Would take charge Ensuite, of the nous nous retirions et l'infanterie s'occupait de champs de bataille après notre propre retrait. Question, début inaudible. Revenons aux ordres donnés avant l'attaque. Un mois avant l'attaque. When you received où étiez-vous those orders? Au moment où vous avez reçu ces ordres? Or how far away from Phnom Penh you were? When you received those orders. À quelle distance de Phnom Penh étiez-vous quand vous avez reçu ces ordres? This location. Réponse. And when you talk about the battlefield, that was uh, my direction uh, leading from Kontok to Pukintong. And at that time, I was about three kilometers away from this area. J'étais à environ trois kilomètres de la zone de Kontok et de l'aéroport de Pukintong. Was it explained to you Question. in the special battalion unit Dans why du it was important special. To assess who were the Lonnol soldiers. Réponse. To me, it is not that difficult because during the war time, the Lonnol soldiers were. Different, uh, les soldats de l'ONOL portaient des uniformes uniform, différents. For us, we dress in the black nous, uniforms. nous étions vêtus de noir. Uh, en ce qui the concerne les zones géographiques, il y avait une différence. Les soldats de l'ONOL se trouvaient location. à un endroit donné et nous, nous nous trouvions à l'endroit opposé. You Question. Vous dites que vous avez reçu les ordres un mois à l'avance. Ensuite, vous avez dû mener les préparatifs nécessaires. Est-ce que des instructions as to what you should do with captured Lon Nol soldiers during the attack on the airport. Des soldats de Lon Nol qui seraient faits prisonniers au cours de l'offensive contre l'aéroport. During the Réponse. battlefield. There was a universal principle of the prisoner of war. Sur le champ de bataille, il y avait un principe universel applicable aux prisonniers de guerre. Les chelons supérieurs nous disaient toujours de ne pas tuer les prisonniers de guerre. Une fois que nous libérions une zone donnée, si nous arrêtions un prisonnier, nous les envoyions à l'arrière. Et c'était à l'arrière de décider ce qu'il fallait faire de ces gens. You said that your Question. orders were to evacuate que the civilian population from the city. Now, were any reasons given to you 
for the need to evacuate the civilian population from Phnom Penh. La population civile de Phnom Penh. As for the Réponse. issue of evacuation, I'd like to state that, of course, uh, for any battlefield, the civilians would flee from the battlefield area. And Lors at my combat, battalion level, I would not know about the policy of the upper echelon at bataille. the rear. Nous but uh, from what I could say, during the, the battle, de people would flee from the battlefield and then they would run to the rear. Les gens and I le would not know the policy of the upper echelon at the rear to do with the evacuated people from the battlefield. What my question was aimed at was, were you given any party line? Question or military instruction Est -ce que des instructions militaires on why the people had to be evacuated out of Phnom Penh. Les explications vous ont été données au sujet de la nécessité d'évacuer la population de Phnom Penh. Yes, I just Réponse. stated Comme je viens de vous le dire, for the evacuation of people at my level, de I à was niveau, not informed je étais pas because I never received instructions from the upper je echelon reçu regarding this matter. De what I only observed was that uh, for any uh, battlefield area, the people or the civilians would evacuate themselves to the rear. Fuyaient. Now, on the Days les combats leading up vers l'arrière de leur propre initiative. Did you Question. just fight your way Durant towards Punch and Pong Airport, or did you come into Phnom Penh City vous avez avancé en combattant vers l'aéroport de Phnom Penh, ou bien êtes-vous arrivé jusqu'à la ville de Phnom Penh? For my spearhead, we did not Réponse. enter Phnom Penh. Mon we remained at the Pukintong Airport upon our attack. Because when we reached and took control of the airport, Quand nous then the in infantry would arrive and then they would place themselves at the airport and we withdrew ourselves to, uh, à back to the rear. Quant à nous, nous nous sommes so retirés if we take vers a few months Question. after the liberation, so let's say May, Prenons June, mois de mai ou de July juin, juillet of 1975, where were you based during this period? About two months Réponse. after the liberation of Phnom Penh, Environ deux mois après my la libération battalion de Phnom Penh, forces were required by the upper echelons to, to go through the Khmer Vietnamese border at the Mongol Borei district in the current Takeo province. Le district de Mongol Borei dans la province de Takeo, sur ordre de l'échelon supérieur. Now. Who was the military commander of your zone at, at this stage? Qui était le commandant militaire de votre zone à ce moment-là? The divisional commander Réponse. at the time le was Sam Bet. Le commandant de division à l'époque était Sam Bet. And who, if anyone, was above Question. Sam Bet? in the military hierarchy. Et qui se trouvait au-dessus de Sam Bit dans la hiérarchie militaire. The commander above Sam Bit was the de zone Sam commander Bitt, and il that avait was le commandant Tamok. de zone soit He Tamok, charge of the entire qui était responsable zone. de toute la zone Now you've mentioned Question. some bit 
vous avez dit que Sam Bitz était l'un des commandants. Vous avez aussi mentionné dans E3419, answer 4, que Meas Mutt était aussi un commandant. Je ne sais pas si c'était une brigade ou une division. Pouvez-vous clarifier ça Ou de division. La brigade ou la division 3, pourriez-vous préciser In the southwest zone, Réponse. there are about two brigades. Brigade number two, led by Sam Butt, and Brigade number three, led by Mutt. Dirigé par Meas Mutt. And where was Meas Mutt's brigade Question. located? Où se trouvait la brigade de Meas Mutt? Brigade number three of Mehmoud during the war time was based along National Road, was based on both sides of National Road number four. So they could, in fact, direct their way either to Kampong Saum or to Phnom Penh. How long had Mehmoud commanded Brigade three? Durant combien de temps? Measmout a-t-il été à la tête de la brigade numéro 3 Yes, I recall he was in charge of the brigade for only a few years, about two to three years. À la tête de cette brigade pendant seulement deux ou trois ans. And uh, upon the time that Phnom Penh was almost liberated, in fact, he left uh, the brigade and Sein came to Il replace him for brigade number three. A quitté la brigade et il a now, Mr. Ingpon, we have a document on our case file. I'm not going to show it to you. I, I just want to refer to it. It's the August 1975 issue of the Revolutionary, Revolutionary Flag. De la revue It's E3-5. But this document reports that on the 22nd of July 1975, there was a ceremony of the Communist Party of Kampuchea Center du centre du PCK to establish the Revolutionary Army en vue de of Kampuchea. Now, du Kampuchea. do you have any knowledge of this ceremony -vous connaissance for the formation of the Republican Army of Kampuchea? De la RK? No, I do not know about the creation of that army Réponse. because I only knew that the army existed since 1970 Je pense until 1975 because uh, through my knowledge I only knew about the uh, true brigades that Moi, is uh, brigade number two and number three in the southwest zone. Et I'm going next Question. to be reading some extracts Je from your OCIJ statement that I referred to. Can I hand a copy to you just so that you can follow the questions? Un de ce and uh, I'm, can Mr. President, this document Monsieur please be provided to Mr. Ian Parr? Puis-je faire remettre ce document au témoin? President, President, yes, you may do so. Court officer, Je could you deliver the document from the prosecution for the witness examination? Mr. Ingpan, my first question is question. going to relate to answer Je number 14. Answer number 14 14. in this document. And this is about screening and removal. Il s'agit du tri et du retrait. You were asked this question. Voici What do you know about screening? 
and sweeping clean within the Khmer Rouge army framework. Des opérations and your answer de was, and I quote, au sein de des Khmer Rouges. Et voici during the Khmer Rouge era, à des Khmer Rouges, in general, de générale, there was screening within the army framework. On à un tri au sein that de is, if they discovered someone, sorry, I'll start again, that is, if they discovered that someone si had inclinations que toward former high-ranking Lon Nol soldiers. That person would be removed from their position or sent to another location, like an agricultural work site. They were not allowed to work again inside the Khmer Rouge military framework. I never saw any killings of people discovered to have those Je inclinations. Été témoin de End quote. De personnes identifiées comme présentant now, in this ce type um, de screening penchant. process, did you ever have to provide de ce processus a de biography avez -vous -même or personal history? Présenter votre autobiographie ou votre parcours personnel? In the common practice in the Khmer Rouge military army, in particular around 1976 and 77, there was a process of a screening, as I stated in my interview. Those people who had their relatives who were high ranking, or former high ranking officers, they would be removed and sent to the rear to raise chickens, to raise pigs, or to break rocks, or to plant cotton, etc. And that was the fact. However, amongst the, the army, there were only a few cases. Uh, for instance, in my units, there were only two or three cases, and if I recall correctly, nothing happened to them. And that's what happened. And I do not know about other events or incidents happens elsewhere. I could only attest to what happened under my unit. What were the um, the Question. ranks of the people that you know who were removed? Quel rang occupaient les personnes qui ont été retirées, les personnes que vous-même vous connaissiez? Yes, I just stated I only knew about the unit Comme under my supervision. And I did not know what happened in the other units. At that time, the liberation forces never used the word uh, ranking. We only refer to the military framework, for example, a company, a battalion, or a regiment. And under my battalion, there were those uh, companies, and there was a very few combatants who were removed. The question was driving at what, what level were these people who were removed? Were they commanders? Were they at platoon level, company level? Uh, we can say, I can say that uh, for those people who were found, they were planned uh, combatants, uh, they were also within the uh, platoon levels or the company levels, but I uh, would like to confirm again, there were only very few cases. I'd like to read next an extract to you from a document number E3-798. Seven hundred and 
This is a document from the 30th of August 1976. And it is the meeting at the minutes of the meeting of secretaries and deputy secretaries of divisions and independent regiments. And the extract I want to read is on English ERN 001836 and French 00386199 and I quote Brother 89 gave an additional summing up from the discussion it is apparent that the enemy has commenced activities and these activities are endowed with a leadership network because the news is the same and the slogans are the same. The enemy would like to take the opportunity to gather up no good elements the status and rank conscious, those whose families we have swept out, those whom we have removed from their positions, and those who have not internalized the revolutionary movement and can't keep up with the rest. And at the same time, the new people who don't yet understand things, whom we are putting in difficulty and temporarily lack food. The CIA enemy is finding opportunities to gather them up to attack us. End quote. Now, Mr. Ian Pan, in your time in the military from 1975 onwards, did any military people talk about no good elements or not? In general, in the military forces, of course, uh, people would talk from one to another about the screening, about the removal of this person or that person. However, there was no official instruction for the commanders to proceed uh, with this uh, uh, policy or something. Like us, so like myself, I was not uh, instructed to do so. And for instance, even in my unit, if people were to remove, I was not informed. There would be instructions from the upper echelon, and those people would have uh, removed. Do you know um, who came to remove the people from your battalion and where they were from? les membres de votre bataillon et d'où provenaient-ils Des réponses either came from the divisional level or from the zone level and when they arrived they would say they would like to invite this person or that person as they were required by the upper level and of course I did not have anything to say in that and everybody was scared 
I myself was scared. In particular, during the period from 1976 to 1978, regardless of your position as an ordinary combatant or a commander, everybody was scared. And that the real situation at the time. I appreciate you in, you were in the military, but did you know anything about the removal of new people who don't yet understand things? As a soldier, I was really unclear on this issue. For things related to screening, or you can say related to the political affairs, we, the military, we would not know much about that. Of course, we were fully familiar with the military training, with the defense of our uh, territory. So we did not know what happened much at the rear as we placed ourselves for the protection of the country and the border. On the topic of screening and removal, was the CIA ever mentioned or did you ever hear mention la of de la the CIA? Avez-vous jamais entendu parler de la CIA? During the war time, Réponse. of course, I heard other words, the screening and the guerre, CIA. Bien entendu Even during the battlefield and after the battlefield, the word was still heard. Pendant les conflits et même après les combats, on entendait toujours ces mots. You said in E3419 answer one that in uh, October 1976 you became the chairman of Regiment 12. Now, was that a promotion for you? The promotion was in fact for me, as I had been the special battalion commander for quite a long time. So for that reason, I was promoted and I left the special battalion to become the commander of Regiment 12 under the supervision of Brigade No. 2. Now, you've mentioned before this that the southwest zone had two brigades, but you stated in this answer that the southwest zone military structure changed from two brigades to four brigades. Now, can you help us on why that enlargement of the brigades took place? I can say that after the liberation, and it was around 1976 or 1977, two additional brigades were installed, and brigades number two to number three were changed to 210 and 230 respectively. And then there were additional brigades to 50 and through 70. So after the war ended 
and in late 76 or early 77, there were four brigades in the southwest zone situated, situated along the Vietnamese-Cambodian border. Thank you. I want to move on to military communication at this stage. You've already given Question. an Merci. answer about communication, but I want to read you, please, some extracts sujet, from that document. E3419. The first was answer 7, La where when referring to 1977, uh, you said, vous, uh, and I quote, I was commander of inter in Intervention Brigade 221 in direct combat with the Vietnamese troops. Now, is this another promotion? Because you had been talking about you being promoted from battalion to regiment. In this extract, you're talking about an intervention brigade. Is that a promotion, or have I got that one? I just stated that I was in Regiment 12 under the supervision of Brigade No. 2. However, in early 1978, I was sent by the upper echelon to Swai Riang province. So my regiment also went to Swai Riang. So that is for Brigade number no. 2, there was a shortage of my Regiment 12 as we move to Swai Riang. And in Swai Riang, I was also assigned to be in charge of other three regiments. So in terms of the military structure, I was in charge or became promoted to become the commander of the Intervention Brigade number 221 at the time. Thank you, Mr. Ying Pa. That's a, a, a clear answer. Now, at question 11 in E3419, you were uh, asked this question. And I quote, in your position as a brigade commander, how did you communicate with upper echelon about the work? Answer, my military communications were by telegrams, which were transmitted by a 15-watt machine in secret code numbers and then were decoded into letters of the alphabet. The machine could be used with communications radios as well. I routinely used telegrams like this and always sent them to Rennes. My telegrams did not pass through any other leadership level but I do not know who Wren sent telegrams to or what levels they passed through. I received telegrams many times directly from Son Sen. They were about military plans, but those telegrams never passed through any leadership level. After I received the telegrams, I called my subordinates to set out plans to follow the orders of Ren. End quote. In terms of the telegrams that you received many times directly from Son Sen, were those telegrams only to you, or were they copied to other people? Uh, 
As for the secrecy of the military and if Ryan or Sonsen sent a telegram through si me as the commander of brigade, of course there would be a direct communication brigade, from them through me. And I would not send any telegram to my subordinates. My approach was not to give them any written document because that is for the purpose of the secrecy. And I would convene a meeting for my subordinates and whatever they could, uh, they could get during the, the meetings, then that, that's it. If you were receiving a telegram from Song Sen, would it be apparent from the telegram that it had been copied to other people, or was it just a telegram to you? As I just stated, uh, when I received a telegram, I, would, oh, I could not make a copy of the telegram for other people, but it is under my authority to convene the commanders and my subordinates for a meeting. Of course, in the battlefield, when I had a document with me, I could uh, convene the meetings, and those people at the battlefield, they would not allow to have any written document with them for the sake of the secrecy. So, so how important were telegrams in conveying military orders? The importance of the telegrams was of the nature of the military instructions. In between 1976 to 1978, there were issues at the border with, the, with Vietnam. So the instructions from Ryan and from Son Sen in the telegrams were about the protection of the territory integrity de at the border. La protection des frontières. And about the attack and counter attack. Et, uh, les assauts et contre -assauts. I'm moving to 1977, but only very briefly. Je vais, uh, you said in E3419 answer 5 that you were called by Ren to attend a meeting at Tamok's house in Takao City. And that meeting was attended by all brigade and division commanders. Um, what was the purpose of this meeting at Tamok's house? Dans la maison de Tamok. In late 1977, there was a meeting in which I participated and it was held in Dakai province. It was required for certain military units to send their forces to the east, that is, to Swaireung province. That was the main theme of the meeting at the time. You said also in the answer five that Ren frequently went up to meetings in Phnom Penh with Pol Pot and Son Sen. He wrote telling me. So just just roughly how many occasions did um, Ren write to you? À combien de reprises Ren vous a-t-il écrit? As for each meeting, and as I stated in my document, while I was in Swaireung, there was the formation of 
a division and Ryan was in charge of the division comprising of uh, five brigades and my brigade was the intervention brigade number 221 and we were a mobile force and there were other brigades including 840 and 807 and Ryan was the commander of the division and of course he had the authority to join the meeting with the upper echelons and I was not uh, allowed to do so but after the meeting then he would disseminate the information to the five brigades in a meeting where the brigade commanders and the deputy brigade commanders would attend such a meeting and circa 1977 and 78, there were already attacks uh, back and forth with the Vietnamese forces. For that reason, secrecy, secrecy was at the utmost importance. And of course, we would not be allowed to leak any information, and telegrams were in fact uh, encoded. And the instructions were all around this very topic because as the, for the military, the military did not focus about anything at the rear. We only focus on about the protection and the defense of our territory integrity and the attacks and counter attacks. And of course, the approach of doing that would be sometimes to draw a sketch on the board for the attacks. And I, I am sure that, as you stated earlier, you were also in the military for uh, some time, and secrecy for the military was an utmost importance. Thank you, Mr. Inkpan. I'd like just to read a couple more extracts about meetings. We're getting towards the end of, uh, of my questioning. Um, E3419 answer 12. You were asked this question. While you were based in Sveilien, did Ren ever hold meetings to tell you about any plans for treason by people in the East Zone? And your answer. Uh, Ren made announcements during meetings about treason by East Zone cadres, saying that this person had been arrested or that person was sent to upper echelon and others had fled to Vietnam. I knew that Ren frequently went up to meetings in Phnom Penh since he wrote documents telling me that he was going up to Phnom Penh for meetings and requesting that those at the base area master the battlefield with vigilance. <coughs> Going to Phnom Penh for meetings certainly meant meetings with Pol Pot and Son Sen, the most senior persons in regard to military planning were Pol Pot and Son Sen. Just an approximation, can you help us on how many times Ren went to these meetings in Phnom Penh? Just roughly. In late 1977 or early 1978, the attacks already took place uh, with Vietnam. So Ryan, the division commanders, went for meetings in Phnom Penh frequently. I could not count the, the times or the number of times. However, sometimes he would go on a weekly basis, depending on the urgency of the situations. 
cela dépendait But de of course it took place uh, more frequent urgence. the longest was uh, 10 days je pense que l'intervalle and upon their arrival back at the base the commanders would disseminate those military instructions to the subordinates. Les commandants transmettaient des they talk about the defense, about the attack and the counter-attack, as I stated de, de, earlier. Défense, and of course, that were the instructions I received in my capacity as the brigade commander regarding the, the deployment of troops and the attack and the counter-attack. President, thank you, Mr. Witness and the prosecution. Merci, the time is appropriate for a, a short break. We will take 20 minutes Nous break and return at 10 10 to 11. Court officer, could you assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 10 to 11? The court is now in recess.